When I was completing high school, I had this guidance counselor who called me to his office and he asked me, he said, Pfizer, what do you like to do? What would you want to do? If, we, if you continue to college, what do you like? And so I remember telling him a few things that I was interested in. And then he pulled out my transcript and looked at my habits, which reflected my grades and how well I turned in assignments. He began to look at the grades and my absentees and certain things. He heard my goals, but he looked at my grades, which were my habits and how studious I was, how committed I was. And he began to see that my grades didn't reflect the goals that I had set for myself. Re really, it wasn't a goal. It was just, he asked me a question and I felt the pressure to answer. And so I really wasn't prepared. So I just said something that I really liked. But when you begin to look at my lifestyle and my habits and my commitment, you could see that what I said I liked wasn't reflected in my daily progress reports at school. I said I wanted to major in psychology and minor in music, and I wanted to go to college. Well, when you get questioned by a guidance counselor, you may come up with the mature answer, but your progress report has to match the answer that you come up with in order for everything to come together. In the same way about purpose, when you're put on, on the line, you may feel that you're being held accountable or under pressure and someone may ask you, what do you want to do? And the mature thing is to say something grandiose and powerful. I want to be in business, but what kind of business? I want to own my own company, but what kind of company? I want to write a book. I, 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 I want to be a doctor. So it's all right to have a great goal but begin to look at your daily progress reports. Look at your natural rhythm of life and see if your habits and progress matches your goal. First of all, are you prepared? Because when you are prepared, you come to this conclusion yourself and you begin to inspire and motivate yourself and hold yourself accountable because you found something you want to be and you want to experience. You're not just calling out names and living ragged on one end and calling out beautiful names on the other end. You've discovered something that you want to do. And spirituality and self-discovery is that same way. What have you left elementary school for? What have you got into this university for? What have you discovered? What do you want to be? What do you want to do? And do you see the reflection found in your progress reports every day? Do your habits match your goals? Does your progress match what you say? Align your progress together with what you say and it will come to pass. Does your progress in your life's work and the tests you take and pass and your readings and your stamina and your endurance, do they match what you want? Because we are in a highly frequenced world. This universe is full of frequencies and power. This, this atmosphere is full of creative force. It's not just a matter of what you speak. It's a matter of what you do, which will determine what you create. Life and death is in the power of the flow that controls the tongue. Not just the tongue, but in the habits that give the tongue what to say. I'm Andre Pfizer. Does your progress and your goals match? Put them together and you'll see what's going on. Peace.